Alrighty, here we go with our video 2.5, periodic trends. We're going to look at certain trends in the periodic table where certain areas will kind of behave in similar ways or our trends will see certain things increase and decrease. So the first thing we're going to talk about is atomic radius. Now the fancy name for the atomic radius is half the distance between neighboring nuclei of a given, given element. So if you're going to get a bond between two of the same element, and here's the nucleus, and here's the nucleus, this would be the distance between the nuclei, nucleus and the atomic radius would be half of that, which is really for our intents and purposes. Just think of it as the radius of the sphere of the atom. Okay, and these are given to you on table S in the reference tables. Now, the trend is this. As we go across a period, you can see in the picture here, the radius tends to decrease. Now, what's happening is the nucleus, as we know, is positively charged. So here's a positively charged nucleus. And out here is the electron cloud of all the electrons. And as we go across, we're increasing the number of protons in the nucleus. So we're increasing the positive charge. Now it's like a tug of war. This positive charge is pulling inward on the entire electron cloud, making it smaller. More protons, stronger pull. Now, as you look, you can see it as you go down a group, it gets bigger. Now, even though as we're going down a group, we're adding a lot more protons, but with everyone down a group, we have an additional shell. So even though we have more protons pulling, once we add a new shell, it's even bigger. And then we have what's called a shielding, that's H-I-E-L-D-I-N-G, effect, where these electrons here are shielding these outer electrons from the pull of the nucleus so they're a little bit further away. Okay, so the trend as we go across a period from left to right, atomic radius decreases. As we go down in a group, the atomic radius increases. Have to know it. next trend we're going to talk about is ionization energy. Ionization energy is the amount of energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron from an atom. Mm. So we have here, let's take boron, right? That's got three valence electrons. So to remove that electron takes energy. And that's called ionization energy. Now, as we go across in a period, that's going to increase. It's going to be harder to pull an electron away from beryllium than it is away from lithium. It's going to be harder to pull an electron away from oxygen than it will be from nitrogen. Because there's, since each of these have more protons, they have a stronger pull on electrons. Since, since the protons are pulling in harder, you have to use more energy to pull them away. Now as we go down a group, this ionization energy is going to decrease. Why? Because since each time we go down a group, we're adding a new shell, it means those valence electrons are further away from the pull of the protons, so they're held more loosely. We don't have to pull quite as hard. So, as we go across, ionization energy increases. As we go down, ionization, I'm sorry, yeah, as we go down, ionization energy decreases. Across, increase, down, decrease. Next, electronegativity. It's one of your vocabulary words as well. And it's an atom's affinity for electrons. Basically what it means is it's an atom's desire to gain electrons. Atoms with higher electronegativity really want to gain electrons, and they're going to pull on them harder than atoms with a lower electronegativity. 
that is going to increase across a period. Same reason, more protons, greater pull on electrons. So as we go across, electronegativity, I usually write it capital E with a minus here, will increase. And as you go down a group, the electronegativity decreases. Why? More shells, further from nucleus, weaker pull. Okay, I don't know if you're noticing a trend here. Finally, metallic character. Well, since metals are on the left, right? here's our metals on the left, here's our non-metals on the right. So as we go from left to right, metallic character is going to decrease. Let's say metallic character decreases. As you go down a group, right, if we look here, non-metals on top, metals under the stairs. So as we go down a group, metallic character increases. All right, so let's summarize here. We have going across. Atomic radius decreases. Metallic character decreases. Ionization energy increases. Electronegativity increases. Go down the group, everything's the opposite. So as long as we remember this, this will know. T atomic radius increases. Metallic character increases. Ionization energy decreases. And the electronegativity decreases. So we can see some trends here. So what's going to have more metallic character? Sodium or aluminum? Well, since metallic character decreases going across, sodium has more. Our most electronegative element, fluorine. Our least electronegative element, francium. What's going to have a larger atomic radius, calcium or bromine? Well, atomic radius decreases going across, so calcium will be larger, bromine will be smaller. All right, that brings us to question time. All right, so here we're getting into the whys, okay? Now, you need to be able to sketch that summary, but remember, the whys, when we deal with across a period, the answer is going to be related to the number of protons, which is going to be greater positive charge. When we go down in a group, the answer will be related to the number of shells or our shielding effect where the inner shells shield the outer from the pull of the nucleus all right that brings us to the end this one was a bit longer sorry about that but these all needed to go together because the trends all go together all right so we're done see you guys